Every editor has the same question, which video editing software is the best choice? So today, I'm putting Premiere Pro and Filmora head to head in a real challenge. I'll take one animation and recreate it in both, same project, same steps, but two very different softwares. Premiere Pro is expensive and professional, while Filmora is much more affordable. The big question is, can both create the same viral style animation? Which one will actually let me finish faster? With a better result in the end? Stick around, because the results might surprise you. So this is the animation that we're going to recreate in both softwares. Our brain operates with two distinct systems. System 1, which is fast, automatic, unconscious, and System 2, which is slow, conscious, and requires significant effort. First, talking about the interface, Premiere Pro has a complex interface, which may not be suitable for beginners. On the other side, Filmora has a more organized interface, providing a lot of pre-made assets that really help new users save time. Let's start by dragging this into the timeline. Change the project settings as you like. Simple and easy. Let's animate this brain model. In Premiere, we have to use keyframing to animate it, which takes some time. Similar to Premiere, we can animate in Filmora too, but the advantage here is that Filmora provides pre-made animations. You can achieve the same result without keyframing. Just drag and drop it onto the clip and you're done. This is a huge time saver for anyone. Next, let's add this green background. In Premiere, we create it using a color mat. In the effects control panel, we use the crop option. And again, for animation, we need to keyframe it. But in Filmora, go to solid color, select any color you want, double click, go to mask, choose linear, and the crop is done exactly as we want. Next, go to animation and apply it onto the solid color. No need for manual keyframing, simple and clean. You can also ease keyframes in and out, just like Premiere Pro. Now the real challenge starts here. We have the arrow and text animations. In Premiere Pro, there are no pre-made arrows. You need to outsource it, either paid assets or green screen arrows, which are usually poor quality. I had to use this arrow that I paid for. In Filmora, if you go to stickers, you'll find a lot of ready-made assets that speed up your workflow. Simply search arrow and you'll get many animated arrows. Just drag and drop to use them. Next is text animations, which is interesting for everyone. In Premiere Pro, I created these text animations manually and it took me around 10 to 15 minutes. On the other side, in Filmora, simply type your text and adjust it like in Premiere. Now go to text animation. Here you'll find a lot of pre-made animations that Premiere doesn't offer. By clicking once, I can apply the same animation that took me 10 to 15 minutes to create in Premiere. Plus, Filmora gives you access to many trendy animations you can apply with just one click. If you want more control, click on Advanced and you can customize even further. For the key points, just duplicate how many copies you need and simply change the text as required. Our animation is ready. Now the last step is to add voiceover, sound effects, and background music. In Premiere Pro, there's no text-to-speech option, so I used 11 Lab for voiceover, which is free for a limited time, but then I got this. For sound effects, I used YouTube, where you can find free sounds, but it takes time to find the right ones. For background music, I used the YouTube audio library, but the selection there is really limited. On the other hand, Filmora gives you all of this inside the software. For voiceover, type the script you want to convert, then click the text-to-speech icon. Here you'll find many voiceover artists to choose from. You can even clone your own voice within seconds. For background music, go to audio, and you'll find a huge library of copyright-free tracks ready to use on your socials. If nothing fits, Go to AI Audio. Here you can generate your own AI music by selecting mood, theme, and genre. It generates tracks for you in seconds. For sound effects, Filmora offers categorized libraries, making it super easy to find what you need. You can even generate AI sound effects. Just describe what you're looking for, and Filmora creates it for you within seconds. So everything is done. Here is the final result from both softwares. Our brain operates with two distinct systems. System 1, which is fast, automatic, unconscious, and System 2, which is slow, conscious, and requires significant effort. Do you see any difference? No, right? That's truly impressive. Both gave the same result. But here's the catch. In Premiere, it took me around 30 to 35 minutes. Plus, I had to outsource assets that cost me money. On the other hand, in Filmora, I recreated the same animation in just 10 to 15 minutes. No outsourcing, everything was inside the software. Now, let's talk prices. Premiere Pro costs around $34 per month. And if you go for the yearly plan, it's about $263. Filmora 
Aura, on the other hand, is far more affordable. It even offers a free version. The paid version costs $9 per month or $35 per year. That's crazy, because Filmora offers tons of AI features and millions of creative assets inside the software, and its yearly price is the same as Premiere Pro's monthly plan. This isn't about calling one software a winner and the other a loser. Premiere Pro is a professional industry standard tool. It gives you endless control and flexibility, but of course, it comes with a heavy price tag and a steeper learning curve. Filmora really shines for creators who want to move fast, keep things simple, and still get professional looking results without breaking the bank. At the end of the day, both can get the job done. It all comes down to how much time, money, and patience you're willing to invest. The real secret isn't the software itself, but how you use it to turn your ideas into reality. 